I'm going to knock again. How you doing? Okay. What's your name? Oh, God, you look like my sergeant in the Marine Corps. God, you're a dead ringer. I almost had a heart attack. I thought, I thought he was, I, no, I was getting ready to run. <laughs> he looks like my sergeant oh, yeah. in the Marine oh, Corps. Yeah. <laughs> As you can see, we have some anxiety here, so I wanted to test uh, Kayla with my dog, Buddy, to make sure that it's anxiety, and it looks like anxiety to me. Okay. Take Buddy back in. All right, so we're dealing with a dog that has a lot of high anxiety. So what we're going to do is let him, or uh, let her settle down, rather, relax a little bit. And I'm going to introduce myself by slowly opening the door and letting the dog sniff. Okay, this is classic anxiety. What I want to do is see if it leads to frustration. I don't think it will. So before we can build a relationship with the dog, we have to make sure that it's calm, and then we can move forward. So that was great. Uh, she is listening to sound commands. So now I'm going to enter. What I want you guys to do, I want you to notice her reaction to me. Mm -hmm. So that was touch. That was our first bond to let Kayla know that we don't approve of jumping. That was the second correction. Move on in. And what I'm doing now is just laying her on her side, just like another dog would do in a pack situation. We have to have her calm down. Notice that I haven't talked to the dog. As 
we'll find out verbal communication doesn't help too much. Now that she's on her side, I'm also giving massage. The pro uh, part of the problem with submission is most people don't understand that when we lay a dog on their side, it has to be until they're totally calm. And then we can let them up. We got a lot of, a lot of high energy, a lot of anxiety here. Right now, if I was to let her up, yeah. she would win. And we can't do that. I see absolutely zero aggression in this dog. Yeah, no, that's not. Okay. She's, she's just loves people and other dogs. Her anxiety, though, will get her in trouble with other dogs. Oh. Mm -hmm. Kayla has never experienced calm before. <laughs> That's her natural state. Every dog's natural state is calm. <laughs> so what I'm forcing her to do is experience calm. We are going to suggest a safe calm caller for you today. Did I tell you about that? I think no, I did. Over no, no. No. She has to be totally calm. If she jumps up, no, no, she won't. Okay. So what we've seen here so far are some things that we're going to talk about. One is calm, consistent correction, and the other one is follow through. Calm, consistent correction is putting on her side, and if she moves, correcting with touch and sound. Follow through is making sure that we complete the exercise, which is to let her know that we're the dominant one. So that means she has to stay on her side until she's calm then we will have completed our first exercise and then we can go from there. Next step is to take her for a walk. Every effort she makes to get up, we have to count her. Right. We probably won't have to do this again after I leave, but it needs to be done right now. Because from what I can see, she's a very obedient dog. Okay. okay. I know you're probably saying, well, we called you out because she isn't. <laughs> that she's so hypersensitive that even sound makes her react uh, anxiously. and just gently push it out okay. and roll. Now, I prefer you to be on the other side, but uh, you can do it right there. Okay. Okay. No. One hand in the neck. Yeah. Get down. And one on the back right hand. Now, it push it this way so she rolls that way. Uh, right. There we go. Right. Put your okay. hand there. Okay. And put the other one here. Now, when she's calm, start to massage. Start to massage. And then, of course, a good submission is when you move your hands and she stays down. You don't have to do what you got. Okay. That's it. Okay.